Hello friends, uh, I am Dr. Sandeep Paseen from Meru Mantra. Today we will talk about holotropic breathing. What is holotropic breathing? Uh, why is it done and the history of holotropic breathing? You know, pranayama has always been a part of yoga from the beginning. And pranayama means various breathing exercises which bring about a change in the consciousness level, mind level. In various pranayams, we use different patterns of breathing which either calm the mind down, relax the mind or which help to release the various emotions that are stuck deep inside the mind. So basically, we can take the breathing patterns of two types. One breathing pattern is the relaxing type of breathing that relaxes deeply, that calms us down. Another breathing pattern are the one that stimulate the mind and help us to release our subconscious experiences, thoughts, feelings that are trapped in our mind. Holotropic breathing is also a breath work. It was developed by a psychiatrist, Dr. Stanislav Grof in 1960s. Dr. Stanislav Grof was a psychiatrist and he was working on people using LSD or the acid which is called a psychedelic very strong psychedelic he would give people this LSD in small doses and people will be altered in their consciousness and then he will work on their traumas, pains, creativity and he will see a big change and transformation happening in people but in 1960s LSD became illegal in America and it was no more allowed to use LSD for this kind of work. Dr. Stanislav Grau wanted to work on people and bring about this transformational changes. So he did a lot of research and he found that a special breath work, what he called holotropic breathing, can really bring about big transformation and change in lives of people. So basically in holotropic breathing, people are asked to breathe continuously inhaling and exhaling so there is a continuous flow of inhale and exhale without gap. Now when this is happening, a lot of uh, energy level in the body builds up, oxygen level goes up, carbon dioxide level goes down and this stimulates the mind to release a lot of subconscious feelings, emotions, images, beliefs from the deep, deep subconscious level out on the conscious level. Now, <clears throat> holotropic breathing, when it is done correctly, is really helping us to release a lot of burden of past traumas, emotions and feelings by the pattern of breathing that is done. So, holotropic breathing experience is very deep and cathartic. You are able to release a lot of your pain, trauma, your past negative experiences, belief patterns, sometimes even your birth memories and early childhood memories. And when they're released, it's like very relieving. It's like opening you to the mind to a different state of consciousness. Now, there's another factor that is involved in holotropic breathing and that is there's a special music that is used, different musics that are used along with these guided processes that helps to bring the emotional states out and the different feelings out. So there is another thing in holotropic breathing that the use of special musics. When we use music, different emotional states are created and we're able to feel different emotions and release them and have a good cathartic experience after releasing them. Now, when we are doing this, breathing in, breathing out continuously without gap and there's a music and we are experiencing various emotions, releasing them. This takes us into a deep relaxation trance and this relaxation trance really opens us to a different state of consciousness. And Dr. Stanislav Grof found that this state which is induced by this breathwork and music is very similar to the state which we get after consuming LSD and other drugs and which is the, called the psychedelic experience and which can be really very transformative and change people 
and transform these people. So it is like a shamanic journey, you know. You must have known people who go to Peru or some mountains. They take special um, ayahuasca or some psychedelics and when they take these psychedelics and they breathe through it, they they have various experiences like they, they see lights and visions or they see the different experiences which is is very very transformative so rebirthing can be something like that very very transformative very very uh, changing you in a big way and bringing a big transformation and opening your awareness to something much bigger something much beyond your normal consciousness so this is regarding rebirthing now sometimes people ask that when we are breathing in breathing out continuously does it cause hyperventilation syndrome now according to dr denny um when we do this hyperventilation when we do the breathing and rebirthing we are not holding the breath there's a continuous so there is no apnea there is no hypoxia another thing is the sympathetic system is not activated like which happens in hyperventilation syndrome clinically so um Rebirthing doesn't have any side effect that we link with hyperventilation syndrome. So what are the common physical symptoms that we get with uh, rebirthing breathing? So it's very common to feel tingling. It's very common to feel dizziness, tingling, vibrations, sometimes cramps in the muscles, sometimes spontaneous bursts of emotions, sometimes seeing visions and lights. These are very common experiences, sometimes hearing some sounds. So all these kind of experiences are very common in rebirthing. So all these experiences are usually because of a lot of change in the chemistry of the brain, because of the constant breath and release of emotions that is coming up from your subconscious. So it's so a journey and that journey can really sometimes change you and transform you. Dr. Alan Hobson who is a psychiatrist, he says that, you know, holotropic breathing is very special because it connects your conscious with your subconscious mind it is a top down and bottom up approach together they're integrating your subconscious and subconscious part of your brain and that can bring about a big transformation so thank you friends i'm dr sandeep from meru mantra if you have any comments you can write below if you have any questions you can write we'll try to answer them and if you have any request please let us know we'll make the videos according to what is needed by you or what you request thank you